Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Valerie Ortiz. So our next story can be described quite simply. She is the best Latina surfer of all time. She is known as one of the best Peruvian athletes of any sport, also of all time. And she might just be the pioneer who opened the gates for surfers all over Latin America. She's Peru's Sofia Milanovic, former number one ranked world champion female surfer. And after a decade of dominance, she's retiring from competition. And while we commemorate her career, we also celebrate her next phase in life as a soul surfing humanitarian. This is a story you do not want to miss, and you can only see right here on American Latino TV. American Latino Athletes, presented by McDonald's. When Sofia Milanovic finally hangs up her board, it will signify the end to one of the most accomplished pro surfing careers any Latino surfer has ever had. To find out what's next, first you need to understand how it all began. I live in a little beach called Punta Hermosa, which is like 40 minutes away from the city, from Lima. When I was little, surfing was not really that big, but my parents both surf. They are in love with the ocean, so when I was really young, we, like, we moved to the beach and we've lived in front of the ocean all, all my life, and they took me to the beach, you know, when I was really young, so thanks to them, I'm, I'm a surfer. <laughs> I try to be powerful and try and uh, draw like nice lines and at the same time if I can get a section I, I'll try and be progressive but I don't know, it's, it's hard. <laughs> I became pro when I was I think 17. Surfing was not really that big uh, back then, now it's bigger. So yeah, it's hard, you know, because we don't have really like a platform for surfing like, you know, like America or Australia do, so it's a little bit harder, but still, like, I'm super happy to have good waves at home. As soon as I won the world title, like people started really looking into surfing and it's changed a lot. You know, there's a lot of support. There's like more of a platform, there's contests, there's coaches, there's a whole industry of surfing, which I'm really, I'm really happy to see, you know, because I really want to see another world champion maybe from Peru or Latin America. <laughs> I think like South American surfers are really, really good at the moment and like we're starting to really get um, more confidence in our surfing. For me, well, I was really thinking strongly that this was going to be my last year on tour. I think it's still going to be, but sometimes when I have hits and I have good fun with my hits and stuff, I go in and I'm like, oh, should I? I don't know if I want to retire, you know? It's hard, you know, like when you love what you do and, and you can compete and you know, you get those highs from competing and stuff. It, it's hard to let it go, but I've already started like some new projects at home. Like I started a non-profit to, to help the kids there in Peru. I just think it's really important when you're young, when you're starting something that you can, you know that people back you up. I think it's really important. Like I really felt that support from my people. So I want to show those kids that I'm there to support them too. And you know, like you never know, maybe there's going to be a world champ or there's going to be an amazing artist or musician. If you believe in them, they believe in themselves kind of thing.